Greetings everybody, I am in San Jose, Costa Rica, and today I'm going to be talking about peach palm. It uh, is pretty cool looking, it kind of looks like a little tomato, kind of, but it's actually a palm fruit. Uh, I also have these yellow varieties, which I think might be the same thing. And what makes me think that, uh, for one, is that the caps on all of these have fallen off, which makes me think this might be unripe. So t because the vendor pulled this off a stalk, these came off easy because it's riper and this one uh, had to be broken off. And these come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Uh, there's big ones, small ones, different colors. Sometimes they're a little bit green and orange. Sometimes they're a little yellow and orange. They're, there's a lot of them. If you've been watching this channel for a while now, you may remember me reviewing this in the past, uh, but I didn't know that much about it. And I remember it tasting kind of like uh, tomato soup and corn, only solid. The thing is, when I reviewed it, I didn't realize this, but the one that I had was actually cooked. Then later on, I found a yellow variety and I took a bite out of that and it like nearly broke one of my teeth and it tasted just like cotton mouth. And that was because I tried a raw one of these after I tried the cooked one. Mystery solved. <laughs> and I want to see if my review of it is correct because sometimes when people cook this they'll put seasoning in it. So maybe the reason why it tasted like tomato soup is that they cooked this in a tomato broth. So today I'm gonna find out what these actually taste like by doing it myself. Okay, so I washed it three times. Now I'm gonna fill it up with water again, this time to cover them. I'm gonna turn the heat on high. I also have some sea salt here. All right, so these were boiled for about an hour and I I think they're probably done. I don't think it needs to cook for quite that long. And sometimes when you find these for sale at markets, they'll actually be just sitting in a big pot of water on a simmer. So you can cook them too much, but you don't want to undercook it. Peach plum is good. This tastes like corn, a little bit like potato, and a little like uh, boiled peanuts, and maybe a little bit like a solid tomato soup. Not as much as when I had it before, and I wonder if that is the ripeness or the variety that I had before. It's like hearty and savory the way a tomato is, but it doesn't really have a strong tomato flavor if that makes sense. And that was the orange one. Let me try the yellow one. This one feels harder. Like even after they're, after they're boiled, they are quite firm. It's a little tricky to tell when they're done because of that, but I think it's done. <laughs> and the texture of these is very crumbly. It's like dry and crumbly. They're not juicy. They're not sweet. It's like a very savory sort of fruit. It's more like eating a root vegetable than eating a fruit, which is interesting because there's so many palm fruits that I've had that taste very fruity. You know, they might look kind of like this, like the queen palm, for instance, looks a little bit like this, but it tastes like more like apricot, the yellow one. Oh, the yellow ones have less of that tomato soup kind of taste does have the corn taste. It does have the peanut sort of taste, like the boiled peanut kind of taste, but not so much of that savoriness. So you know what? I think that's probably it. The riper these get, 
the more of that, that hearty, savory taste it gets. And that is why the one that I had before tasted a bit like tomatoes. But uh, to be sure, I'm gonna go to the market today. I'm gonna keep an eye out, see if I can find these for sale cooked, and I'll bring them back. I got some. And <laughs> these are different. Look at that. Much bigger. These are much bigger and much darker. Which makes me think that maybe it's a different variety, but um, I feel like these have ripened more. Solid tomato soup. That's what that tastes like. So yeah, I think that's it. I think as they ripen, they develop that taste. Interesting. So depending on what you want, if you want a peach palm that tastes more like corn and peanuts, pick up this guy here. If you want one that has a little bit of a savory note, go a little bit oranger. If you want something that has uh, a lot of that note, almost where it tastes like tomato soup, pick up one that is nice and red. But all of these taste pretty good. Okay, so there's one more thing that I want to try with this guy here. This is what I hear is the most popular way to enjoy peach palm. Take the seed out, you take the cap off, and then you get some mayonnaise, and you fill that little gap where the seed was, with a little dollop of mayonnaise, and you eat it kind of like a little deviled egg. Probably should have peeled that. I'm not the biggest fan of mayonnaise. You know, like some people, they get down on like dipping their french fries in mayonnaise. I'm not one of those people. My um, feelings about mayonnaise aside, objectively, those flavors work. You know, if you like potato salad, maybe potato salad with a little bit of tomato thrown in, it kind of tastes like that. You know, you get your potato taste, a little bit of a corn taste, a little tomato taste. It works. So here is the peach palm. Uh, this one doesn't have fruit on it because bugs have been getting to it but the tree itself is pretty nice and also it's very uh it's spiky oh yeah you gotta be careful with this one huh <laughs> if you were to try to pick the fruit of this mm -hmm. uh, how would you do that you would have to need a very long bamboo stick yeah with a piece of bicycle tire attached at the end with a kind of knife mm -hmm. or hook with a branch in kind of this shape to bring the bunch down. I see. So you, you cut it down kind of like a long scythe <laughs> from the ground. So after you've used the stick, you reached up there and you cut it, and this thing comes tumbling down. Isn't that just gonna like spray peach palms like everywhere? Yeah, it's going to be destroyed unless you place a very big bag full of more bags mm -hmm. and a lot of air. So it lands safely on, on there. Okay. In, uh, where, where I work in the, uh, the circus business, we call it a crash pad. Yeah. So. <laughs> and it's a two-person job. One is bringing it down, and the other one is ready with the crash bag <laughs> to place it there and not yeah. be smacked himself by the bunch. Oh, so more like a, a, a fireman trying to catch somebody that's jumping out of a building. Yep. <laughs> okay. Very cool. But I'm not done with the peach palm. I'm gonna make something that is a uh, kind of a classic Costa Rican dish. Well, let's face it, it's gonna be my interpretation of it given you know my circumstances and lack of knowledge. I'm gonna try to make it <laughs> to the best of my abilities. Let's, let's put it that way.
really good. It's somewhere between a corn soup, a sweet potato soup, pumpkin soup, and broccoli cheddar soup. It's got like a little almost cheesy sort of flavor to it when you add the milk to it. The addition of the lime and the cilantro, also a really good idea. I wasn't sure how this would go. <laughs> I thought it might be a little too intense with that much pe peach palm in there, because peach palms are, you know, they're very thick. They're very uh, dense. I didn't know how that would translate in a soup. Turns out, works really well. So yeah, I'm really happy with this, and uh, I'm gonna go and have my dinner. So I will see you all next time. Bye. I would like to give a big shout out to Lofty Rex and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com is basically how I can afford to go on all the adventures I do on this channel. So if you enjoy my series and you want to help support me, check out the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, I also have t-shirts for sale like this one here, the Durian Anatomy shirt. That is available on my website, which I also put in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.